my fellow scientists. Welcome to another episode of Science is Everywhere, the home edition. My name is Marie Lankin. I'm from the Children's Discovery Museum of San Jose. And this week I get to bring you one of my favorite things. So what is one of my favorite things? <laughs> there could be so many different things. Today we're going to be doing an experiment with black light to see what glows, what doesn't, and why. So this could cover a lot of different pieces in your house. So as usual, let's go ahead and go through the materials. We'll go ahead and do the experiment and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it. So what are you gonna need? You are going to need a black light, a dark room in order to use that black light in, a bunch of household objects, as long as it's something safe, it's fair game, and then a piece of paper and a pencil so you can go ahead and record what your observations or what your results were. So this video may be a little bit different because you already may be concerned, well, I don't have a black light at home. And that's okay, we thought ahead and we've got a plan for that. So in our experiment, we're going to be showing you the regular items in regular light and then turning that light off and turning a black light on. So in order to use this video, what you might wanna do is go ahead and see what the object looks like in regular light, then pause the video make your predictions, and then play the video so you see what the results are once we put these objects into black light. All right, now I may have sci some scientists already going, yeah, 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 I've had experience with plenty of black light. I've been on rides at amusement parks. I've seen different things under black light, no big deal. As long as there's something white in it, it will glow. Well, my response to that is really, let's find out.
any surprises in that experiment? And be honest, <laughs> you may have seen many of those objects and went, oh yeah, I know exactly what's going to happen there. And then we turn on the black light. Surprise! <laughs> so for example, when you saw the white crayon, you might have thought, oh yeah, that's definitely going to glow. In my experience, that's going to really light up. And then when you saw the blue crayon, you might have thought exactly the opposite. Well, it's kind of dark. I'll, it'll probably disappear into the background. And then we turn the black light on and exactly the opposite happened. The white crayon kind of blended in and disappeared and the blue crayon was really illuminated. It lit up. So why is that? Because at the beginning of this video, we talked about how the color white or the tone white would be the key to what glows. Well, it's not the color, it's what's in it. So let me give you a little background on black light. Black light is a UV ray that's just outside of the perception of the naked human eye. So for example, when you walk into a room, if it had regular lights, you can pretty much see everything. If you walked into a room that has black lights, it's still pretty dark. And that's because you're only going to see things that react with the black light because of something they have in them. They have something called phosphors in them. And the more that they have, the more they're going to go ahead and glow or react with that black light. The black light travels from the bulb to that object. There's a transfer of energy. That's where you get the glow. And then the light that comes back to you is now something that you can see because it's a different wavelength. Pretty cool, right? So we would love to see what you went and experimented with in your house to see where the phosphors were. There are some very surprising places that you'll find them. So feel free to get creative again, just as long as it's safe, it's fair game. Hope you enjoyed this experiment and please share with us your blacklight videos. We'll go ahead and put our hashtag down below. Still celebrating our 30 years of memories and I do believe that this counts. <laughs> so thank you for tuning in today. Hope you enjoyed your time and I will see you next time at Science is Everywhere. Bye guys. Thank you for watching our virtual Purple Museums broadcast. If you're enjoying this content, please consider making a donation to support our efforts. Our summer broadcasts are every Wednesday and Friday on Facebook and YouTube. Stay in the loop by joining our email list. Visit www.cdm.org and sign up today.